What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are doing a Thursday roundup. We've got Japan Epics. We still have the national team attackers, national attackers there that you see. And we do have the return of Kante Koulibaly and so Cristiano Showtime for phenomenal finishing card. We'll have that and go through everything here as well. The login is still ongoing. Now there's a couple of little bits and pieces to get into here, right? And there's a couple of bits and pieces that we talked about yesterday in yesterday's video that we're going to confirm with today, right? So essentially what we've got here is the eFootball League is finished, okay? So if you go in here to your inbox and you get your login stuff, you will actually be getting all of your login bonuses still, but you will have the eFootball League as well here. Now we knew about this schedule change that they were literally just going to be extending all of these by a week. So these were meant to end today. So you had the match pass ending, you had the season six actually ending today, bring the energy speedsters cards and all that. The new date is next Thursday and we'll show you that in a second here as well. We also have a new card in to the game lap rewards. So in the daily game here, we'll just get into that really quick. Uh, if you guys are not at your console, we're just going to do a complete roundup of what's in and what's not in. Um, but once you take your penalty here now, and we go in and we have a look at the rewards, we'll see that we've actually been given a new player to unlock, right? So if you can continue to unlock these, I reckon they're probably going to change this a little bit for eFootball 2025. But until then, I don't think that they actually will change it. Um, but in the worldwide deal here, we have a new player, right? Which is going to be Ruben Neves, who's interestingly enough, a Showtime card, and he's wearing his Portuguese kit. So I reckon we're going to get packs like this, Showtime packs. I actually am going to predict that this card here was meant to be part of Season 7's update, but that they just left it in as kind of like something extra for today because obviously season seven was meant to kick off today and it's now been shifted to next week but he's got a booster with orchestrator looks like a pretty decent car 31 levels really nice passing skills very very slow but obviously as an orchestrator he'll do the job um if you want to go for him very nice player skills but he's going to be a free card so once you get these uh players and once you get through the laps you're going to get on lap 30 you're going to get another player here and then obviously you have on lap 35 the last player if they don't add any more, right? So I know a few people are asking me about that. However, there has been nothing added um, to the eFootball shop. So this shop here is still the for the eFootball points. There are no players in that. That will probably come next week. Um, and we'll go from there with that, right? And cover that, okay? But yeah, there's nothing in that. Now, starting with what's been extended, right? So Zico is gone. But this Pez 2020 throwback pack is still there, right? Zico is gone. He's not extended. You will notice that yesterday's video, we had Zico. He was going to be gone today. He's actually gone altogether now. You can't buy Zico anymore. And then on top of that, then as well, the objectives. All of the object objectives are gone. So the season has essentially been finished. But what they've done is they've extended the content by a week without updating the game. Now, there's probably two reasons for that. Very, very basically, I think what they're doing is they're taking the extra week to tie in and get the hype of the Euros and add extra content. So whatever was meant to come today, they're going to just have next week as a bigger update. There'll be a gameplay update. We'll get into all that. We'll be live streaming later, right? But on the rest of the stuff here with the contract situation, you will see that all of these now, right? We'll get into these in a second. All of these cards, starting from the Liga BBVA MX to the English uh, League, to the Spanish League, to the Italian League, to the Beckenbauer uh, box, to the Speedster box, to the J League, to the Super League. All of these were meant to end today, except the Beckenbauer box, right? They've been extended by seven days. So now you have seven more days to sign any of these boxes, okay? And then what they'll probably do is these boxes here will become, and I predict, will become national team selections. So you might have Portugal, France, Spain, and then, you know, uh, England, and then four packs. And they'll have like a booster card or a showtime card like we saw with Ruben Neves. Uh, you know, maybe Bellingham is going to be the big time or Alexander Arnold, uh, or not Alexander Arnold, um, Harry Kane is going to be the big time. And then, you know, maybe for France, we'll have Mbappe or somebody like that who will be the big time. And then a selection of other cards, right? I touched on that in yesterday's video. But for the new cards today, we have a return of Cristiano, Koulibaly, and Kante. We have the Japan Epics as well here. Um, and we also have these Encore stars, right? Uh, so can I get an Encore? We did actually predict yesterday in the video that Vinny was going to come and this version of him. But anyway, we're going to show you the rest of this pack. So this is actually a pretty decent pack, boys. You've got this Barella, who was absolutely unbelievable. Um, you have Musiala, who was a beast. Saka was a very good version of this card. Vinny Jr. as well was a fantastic addition here. He's a goal poacher CF. 
excellent stats apart from the balance and tight possession but a really really phenomenal player in this flip-flap soul control and double touch off the rip very unique car with the one touch pass and of course the soul control as we said the acrobatic finishing the true passing there's some lovely cards in here this jesus a lot of people love this jesus as well very good deep line forward one of the best in the business soul control again there one touch pass true passing so all of these cards are here there's 33 cards in total you've got harry Maguire, you've got pepe you've got foden these are re-releases of all of these that they have released before so like there's actually really good cards in here Dan Byrne is there as well. This guy is an absolute colossus at the back. Um, I would say that there's probably five or six like in-game type level cards here. You know, I would definitely say that. Pepe is really good. This Foden's really good. Summer is really good. Barella is a beast if you look at Barella's stats. Obviously, they're not going to be better or miles better than other cards you have in these. But yeah, I do like the fact that Rodrigo and Vinny are there. And Saka is there. Musiala is there. Rafael Leao, if you missed out on any of these cards... There's a nice selection there. And Donnarumma, we haven't had a card like this in a while. The only issue is that all of these, because the domestic league is gone, I don't think they're going to be getting their form anything more than C, unless the Euro form comes into it, right? On the other uh, part of it then as well, we do have this 150 box. Um, whoa, I nearly opened there. We do have 150 box here, and this is going to be a selection with Nakamura and the two other legends here. Again, we'll get into that again. If you guys want a review of these, let me know. Um, we can do that, and we'll cover that in a separate video. And then, of course, we have Cristiano Ronaldo, Koulibaly, and Kante. This Ronaldo is a beast, lads, right? I'm going to show you this Ronaldo with the booster here. He obviously is going to have a lot of nice skills, and he does have phenomenal finishing. So that kind of is what sets him apart from other Ronaldo cards. It's a very unique card. And potentially it could be one of Ronaldo's last cards that's a non-European card until he football 2025, right? So he's got a very nice card there as well. I'm actually going to show you very, very quickly here. I'm going to show you exactly. Um, but before we get to that, right, I'll show you all the events. I'll show you Ronaldo's card then. They have the events kind of switched around as well. Obviously, co-op comes back. You've got unlimited back as well. And then versus the AI, all we have is European clubs. So this national teams was still ongoing, but the European clubs is there. There is nothing else going on here. So this has probably been one of the least content releases in a while because it's all re-released stuff. And then obviously re-release Ronaldo pack and the Japan pack and stuff like that. Now, the reason for that, as I said, is they're going to tie it into next week's big update, which would probably be gameplay, probably be a couple of quality of life. But the Division 4, uh, or Phase 9 has started in this, right? So we were Division 1 in this profile. You can see that the phase is now reset until the 4th of the 7th, which is the 4th of July. Um, and that's going to be obviously interesting as well for the timing that this is, because it's going to be four Thursdays from now. And then the phase reset will go and continue to go again. Um, but yeah, they have reset the phase, but they haven't reset the cards. So I think that kind of sums it up there with that and the events. And then I'm going to just show you really quickly Cristiano Ronaldo's card, right? So Cristiano Ronaldo, I definitely think that this card is a fun card to use. It just depends on how many versions of Ronaldo that you have, or if you have any versions of Ronaldo, whether or not he is worth it, right? So we are going to be training him up. Um, we do have this, where is this Cristiano Ronaldo? Where is this Ronaldo, lads? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? We have this version of Ronaldo here, but on the Showtime one, uh, do I have this Ronaldo in here? There we have. I knew I had him. So there we have Cristiano Ronaldo. There is 101 overall. Um, it's a pretty decent card. We have Kante and Koulibaly as well. But just to show you this Cristiano Ronaldo, we'll go into his stats fully later. Uh, 91 acceleration, 92 kick and power, 91 finishing. We could train him slightly better here. Um, and we probably will adjust his training a little bit if the free reset comes back. I'm not going to spend 600k to, to train him back. But yeah, we do have the rest of these cards as well. So we'll get into all of those today and we will show you guys exactly what I think of these in game. We'll probably play a lot of them today, to be honest with you. Of course, Kante is back in into the squad as well um Kante is going to be an interesting choice I think for a lot of people in this because a lot of people like using this version of Kante for some reason I think well it's not that it's for some reason but he is got he has got beastly stats as a box to box so um Kante comes in when he comes into the squad here he actually is going to go to a 99 overall and there are the stats with Pep's boost again you've got 85 plus speed acceleration huge balance brilliant defensive capabilities very very good box to box so yeah let me know what you guys think of today's packs let me know um we'll see you guys later on in the stream as i said everything else is still kind of the same the objectives have, are, have gone um we don't really get much news here on what is going to be coming you know we don't so um let me know what you guys think of this are you a bit disappointed are you kind of waiting do you have more hopes now for next week 
or are you just moved on? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the live stream later. Peace.